Hey, welcome back. Homeowners in Harvey's Path not picking up the pieces, but when rebuilding begins, many could be in real financial trouble. Insurance experts now estimating that 80% of those in the storm's path did not have flood insurance. So what do these homeowners do next? Joining me now is Fox News legal analyst and host of the show Property Man, Bob Massey. Bob, nice to see you this morning. Thanks, Clayton. Thanks for having me. You bet. A lot to unpack here. So let's talk about the folks yeah. that don't have insurance or are unclear of what type of insurance they may have, specifically in the path of Harvey. We'll talk about the rest of the country in a moment. Should they contact FEMA? And sure. What do they get when they, do, when, they, when they call them? Practically speaking, when you see the guy that you just had on that's obviously devastated, yes, at some point, and I know, I know FEMA, Clayton, has been very proactive to make themselves available, you've got to give contact to FEMA and give them information so that they're able to help you to whatever extent they can. And I think what's going to be shocking to most people, Clayton, with other responsibilities, is that a lot of the help they're going to get is going to be in a way of a short-term loan or a low-interest loan. And a lot of people will say, whoa, wait a second, you mean some of this we have to pay back? The answer is yes, depending upon the circumstances, but contact FEMA Give them your information so they know who you are, the necessary information, social security number, whatever they ask you for, so that a claim can be open, if you will, to be able to help yourself. There's so much here to unpack, Bob. The next step in, the yep, in this is contacting the creditors, so your credit card yeah. companies. Why would you want to do that? Well, first of all, let's think about this. We have these people who have been displaced. There still is mortgage payments on your home. Mm -hmm. There's still credit card bills that have to be paid. There's still utilities that have to be paid. So the question, I mean, the last thing these people are thinking about are these type of things, Clayton. But at some point, reality is going to hit. And here's going to be the question. What and how cooperative are these creditors going to be in these circumstances? Because no matter what FEMA does or anything else, that's not going to be enough to pay the bills. As a matter of fact, whatever help you do get could be another loan you have to pay for the loan there, that you're getting from other entities, if you will. So it's important when you are able to contact your lender and creditors. Let them know you are a victim of this travesty. And so let's see what these lenders do. And I must tell you, as much as I don't like to see the federal government involved in a lot of things, Clayton, for me as a citizen, it just seems like this is where the government needs to step in right. and bridge this type of money to help people to make these payments without well, the repayment of a loan yeah. as long as it's documented. When you can spend $2 billion on an airplane, the federal government can step Absolutely. in and try to help citizens here. And you other also countries. Say, and right. other countries. You also say, so the, for those folks who have insurance, uh, start by processing yes. your claims right away. Get on the phone with your insurer. Let them know. How do you document yes. the damage? I mean, at this point, just taking photos, I guess, but unless you already had, took pictures of this stuff ahead of time, maybe you've got a painting or a yeah. television, how do, you, how do you account for yeah. that stuff? Biggest problem that we all have as homeowners. When was the last time somebody videotaped the contents of their house? In this case, it wouldn't matter, would it? Because it's probably gone unless it's downloaded on something that was preserved. Try to remember what your possessions are. The travesty and what these people are going through emotionally, Clayton, many times they can't even remember those type of things. What, what kind of paintings? They'll remember the heirlooms of the family, of course. But the bottom line is you document as best as you can. It's a he said, she said. That's what the homeowner has to do. Yeah. All of us have to be detailed whenever you have a home with contents. Try to videotape and save these things. Bob, very, I, very tough situation. And Bob, I'd love to have you back on the show tomorrow. I don't know what your schedule is. I'm throwing you under the bus at the moment. I'd love to I'm talk here, about it. I'm here to help. Well, maybe we can get our producers to have you back. Is to talk to people now facing Hurricane Irma that could be barreling up the coast. What do people need to that's put right. in place for insurance to protect themselves? further up the road. Bob, thanks for being on the show. you got to watch his show, Property Man, which uh, airs Fridays at 8.30 p.m. on the FBN. Thanks, Bob, and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow.